It's Kai at Five Coast 360 Salon over in Torrance. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about home relaxing and box relaxers. Well, um, I've been doing this thing called hair for over 20 years, been licensed, and I've seen a lot. And I, when I wore a relaxer, did not relax my own hair because first of all this is a chemical you can harm yourself second of all I can't see the back of my head so it's inevitable I'm gonna overlap that relaxer and when I continue to overlap that relaxer I can run the risk of breakage breaking my hair off because I'm going to eventually over process my hair so if I wouldn't relax my own hair and I'm a professional, why in the world would you try to do it at home? First of all, you don't know how to make the proper choice in chemical for yourself based on your hair type. So the first thing that you run and do is go and get a box relaxer based on the picture more than likely on the box, which is false because your hair may not be the same texture as the woman on the box. So not knowing how to select the different strengths in the relaxer and then also the box relaxers are a different type of hydroxide than what we use in the salon. More than likely it's a calcium hydroxide which is a big no-no on the hair because in my experience when you guys have relaxed your hair at home and you come in you have used these calcium hydroxide relaxers and they leave a calcium buildup deposited into the hair. And what this calcium deposit does is it makes the hair very, very dull, very, very dry, and then also it swells the cuticle and doesn't even break down the hair as much because they buffered it down for home use. So you're really just messing up your hair and then we have to go in and try to correct it. You probably will end up losing some of the length because you've done some, so much damage to your hair. And we have to go in and correct it to restore it and get it, get it back to the quality hair that it should be. So stop wasting your time relaxing at, relaxing at home, you know, damaging the elasticity to your hair, which is the ability for the hair to stretch and return back to its place without breaking your hair becomes more porous it's just all bad so stop messing your hair up at home and when it's relaxer time it's okay if you want to shampoo in between relaxers but when it comes to that chemical you should definitely find a salon that you can trust and go in and get your chemical services done and then in between time if you just don't have the time or maybe you can't afford to frequent the salon then inquire about purchasing the proper maintenance um, home care for your hair so that you can make sure you have proper shampoo and conditioners and things like that for your hair so that you can have beautiful tresses and you don't have to worry about having the calcium build up on your hair and selecting the improper products, improper, improper um, chemicals for your hair. So I hope this helps someone today. That's the hair care tip of the day. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at follicles.com. If you would like to schedule an appointment or a consultation, I can be reached at 310-324-3007. Until then, stay tuned for the next hair care tip.